important video today. Let me just, let me just go and get set up. All right, so we're gonna talk about cold showers again. I know what you're thinking, I've made a load of cold shower videos. Well, I've made two, okay. But this is an important one because this is gonna be talking about my experiences personally for the last 30 days and how it's been, what, how I'm feeling as a result of these cold showers and you know why you might want to do the same thing. So I'm gonna to have to start this story by going back a few years to when I first had a cold shower and I read on some forum somewhere, I can't remember where, sounds very scientific I know, but I read on some forums, forums somewhere that cold showers increase your blood flow and make it easier to heal from injuries or you know, training or something. So at the time I was lifting a lot of weights, I was, I was working out a lot and I wanted to recover faster. So I started having cold showers, I had you know a cold shower every day for about a couple of weeks, but it was so difficult for me and I found it so hard to actually step under the cold water that I just gave up. <laughs> that being said, I did notice some actual benefits during those two weeks and those benefits are you know increased energy more confidence and a faster recovery um, but for whatever reason I gave it up and you know a few years passed and here we are now so I've always and for, I should mention that for those for that y few years gap um, I have actually been having lots of cold showers I just haven't been doing it every day so what's happened is in the last over the last 30 days I've been doing this daily vlog challenge we're on day 30 now um, and I've also been doing habit stacking. So I've been combining loads of things that I want to do into one giant sort of morning routine. So I've been doing meditation, learning Spanish, uh, journaling. Um, I've been doing all sorts of things, making a healthy breakfast every morning, um, listening to something motivating or inspiring, and having a cold shower, among, among other things as well. So, so it's been 30 days. Every single morning, within half an hour of waking up, I've had a freezing cold shower. I don't mean um, a lukewarm shower, I mean the, the cold tap has been fully on and the hot tap has been fully off. In my, on my shower there's like a little dial where it goes from zero, which is the coldest, up to 12, which is obviously the warmest. And the, uh, there's an LED light on the top of it which lights up different colours based on temperature. So, um, and as you can see, there's a, there's a, the green LED light is when it's the coldest. And it goes green to blue, which is lukewarm, which is what most people have showers in, and then red, which is hot. Anyway, I've, for these cold showers, I've used the complete cold tap. I've only used cold water, the, the coldest it will go, actually. And here's what I felt, here's what I found. So the first few days, obviously, were very difficult, as with any new habit. It was hard to get into the swing of things, and it felt, obviously, freezing cold, right? No one wants to step under a cold shower, but then when you really pay attention to how you feel during this, okay, if you really pay attention to what's going on in your, inside your mind and your, in your body, you'll notice that although it's uncomfortable at first, and it is uncomfortable, that is soon replaced by a feeling of like euphoria and energy. And it's very simple and easy to understand why. But we are made up of like 80% water or some huge number like that. And there's lots of blood flowing through our veins and all through our body. And now when you experience cold water, what happens is your body goes into the what's known as the mammalian dive reflex, which is a really old thing that's been programmed into our minds, where when we dive into cold water, our bodies slow down our metabolism, restrict blood flow to extremities, and move that blood to the internal organs to keep them alive, to keep them working, right? to keep you alive. Um, and this is known as homeostasis at a basic level, but when you basically when you go underneath cold water, it forces your blood to be pumped around your body at a faster rate and with more intensity. Now what happens when you get out of the shower is that that blood then disperses back into your extremities and the result is you feel amazing. You've got a massive amount of blood flow throughout your entire body and it's just gonna give you energy, it's gonna make you feel good. Um, you know, one of the most common fixes for feeling bad or depressed or whatever is just to go out and take a walk. The reason being is that firstly you get the sunshine but also you get increased blood flow which is very good for you. It makes you feel good. So that's the most obvious benefit is that your blood flow is increased and improved. Right? It sounds pretty simple but you know this is one of the most important things you can do. The second thing that it, it forces you to do is something we should all be doing anyway which is to take a deep breath of air. When you breathe deeply, not only does it 
fuel your body better and make you feel better. But it also grounds you. And you know, it, it, if you really take a deep breath and, and breathe deeply for, for uh, any period of time, you'll feel much better and more grounded than if you just did mo what most of us do, which is shallow, weak breathing. But you can't do that under a cold shower because when you step under the cold water, you're instantly forced to, to inhale and exhale like this, and it makes you breathe deeply. Especially if you stay under there for five minutes or more, your breathing is going to be perfect. You know, you're going to get out of that shower feeling amazing, whether that's from the blood flow, the deep breathing, or just the whole euphoria of the whole experience. That leads me on to number three, the point number three, which is this is, I would argue, the most important benefit. So you've got the, the health benefits of breathing, making, making yourself breathe deeply and increasing your blood flow, okay? You've also got the aesthetic benefits in terms of like, it's good for your hair, it locks in moisture, it's good for closing your pores and keeping moisture in your skin, okay? Much better than warm water. And it's also good for tightening the skin and making you look younger. So they're, they're, they're the aesthetic benefits, you know, they're sort of the, the cherry on the top of the pie, I guess you could say. But the real benefit, in my opinion, is that by having a cold shower, so fundamentally cold water is uncomfortable to shower in for most of us, okay, at least at first. It, even after 30 days, even after three years, I would argue it's not as comfortable as having a warm shower because it's different to our internal body temperature. So we notice the shock, the contrast, the difference in temperature. It's uncomfortable. So if by starting your day every morning, you, experience, you put yourself through something uncomfortable like a cold shower, what that's doing is that's telling yourself and proving to yourself that you're in control. You're in charge of how you feel, what you do, and you know, you're, you're in charge of your mindset. If you wanna do something, even if it's uncomfortable, you're gonna do it, right? And that's, that's the point behind all of this. It's not meant to be comfortable, it's supposed to be hard. Because if you start your day with a challenge like that, and if you, especially if you wake up early as well, okay, if you wake up at 4 or 5 a.m. and then have a cold shower, you're going to feel on top of the world because not many people can or will do that. So by doing that, you're sort of mentally separating yourself from everyone and saying, I am going to boss this day. I'm going to do everything I want to do today and I'm going to smash it. And that's pretty much the biggest benefit for me is that by starting my day with something uncomfortable is telling myself that I can do what I want to do. I can overcome obstacles, I can push through you know, uncomfortability and uncertainty. And it's just a mental thing, it's, it's, a, it's a motivational tool that you can use. If you can have a cold shower every morning, then it makes everything else that bit easier to do. You know, you may have heard the expression to wake up and eat, eat your frog, okay? What that means is, do the most difficult thing that you have to do that day first thing because then once you've done it once you've eaten your your frog okay you're, you've done your difficult task everything else seems easier and the whole day seems to run smoother that's what i've been doing for 30 days i've had a cold shower every day and i'm not going to stop because it feels amazing um, not to mention the fact that warm water is not actually that good for you um, there are many scientific reasons why that is the case but i'm not going to get into them in this video this is about cold showers mainly um, but yeah, I'm going to continue having cold showers and probably continue having cold showers for a very long time. So yeah, just to recap, I guess, I felt increased energy, more confidence. I felt because I'm doing something uncomfortable every morning, I feel like I can do other uncomfortable things. And they say that life exists outside your comfort zone. You're, you're always going to find the most exciting, meaningful, profound experiences are found just outside the area where you feel comfortable, right? We all feel comfortable sitting in our house watching Netflix, eating snacks, right? But we might not feel comfortable going to a foreign country and experiencing a local culture and do and skydiving and you know doing things that our brain tells us don't do that because it's not comfortable, it's not what we're used to. Okay? But if you do those things and if you push through that uncomfortability, you'll find a beautiful life full of really rich, meaningful experiences that 